hello and welcome back to my channel so today we will be doing a tarot reading for the death of Kathleen Peterson but before I begin I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that you'll get notified on my next upload I'm uploading a new video every week and I'm offering free tarot reading for all of my subscribers so if you would like to have your reading with me you can just send a message to my email or a direct message to my Instagram all of the details will be in the description box below. On December the 9th, 2001, the bloody body of Kathleen Peterson was found at the bottom of the stairs in the North Carolina home she shared with her husband and novelist Michael Peterson. My wife had an accident, Peterson says on the 911 call. She's still breathing. She fell down the stairs. However, blood splattered evidence and a missing fireplace poker suggest that it was a cold-blooded murder. Within two years, Michael Peterson was convicted of first-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison. But because a key witness, a blood splatter expert in fact, whose testimony was discredited, Michael Peterson's conviction was overturned. The trial that followed was full of interpretations, blaming the death on everything from an owl attack to connecting it to a second death, similar in nature, that of his once neighbor Elizabeth Radley, who also was found dead at the bottom of stairs. Alright, so a little background story. When Michael and Kathleen Peterson were married, it was a second marriage for both of them. Altogether, they had a large blended family that totaled five children. Kathleen had a daughter named Kathleen Atwater from her first marriage to Fred Atwater, and Michael had four kids of his own. He had two sons named Clayton and Todd from his first marriage to Patricia Sue Peterson, as well as adopted daughters Margaret and Mara. The circumstances of their adoption would prove to be important to the case against Michael when he was arrested and convicted for Kathleen's murder. Alright, so the adopted daughter's mother was Elizabeth Radley, whose death was eerily similar to Kathleen's, and Michael was the last person seeing her alive. Alright, let's just start with the reading. Alright, so from the first deck, we have Two of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Four of Cups, Nine of Wands, the Sun, Son of Swords, Ace of Swords, the Magician, and the Empress. Okay, so let's start with the Two of Pentacles here. I feel that this represents that Kathleen and Michael was having like a conversation and then became an argument between them. And I would like to jump to the middle row here. This nine of wands for me definitely is about the stair. And then the bottom card is the sun here. And if you look in the middle it feels like you're looking down or like falling down so I feel that she did fall on the stair but there's a, a male energy here that is represented by son of swords um okay wait so the son of swords here has an owl that is holding a sword so this is a bit confusing because I get a feeling that someone else is behind it, but then there's an owl. So an owl attacked her could be true. It could be what led her to have injury. I believe that there's blood, a little bit of blood dropped outside of the door. So it could be that it was caused by an owl attack. Now I'm not sure or that 
actually this is like a clever way to confuse the prosecutor I'm not sure I'm confused but um, let's just read more into this okay so this Hilfen I feel that this is the energy of Michael that during the, their conversation he said something because he's holding a key here so he had something that he was holding on to and that night he said it out loud or like finally putting it out there so that Kathleen knew what he had been holding on or hiding from her and we see in the background here that there's lightning so it's something that matters it's something big it's something shocking to Kathleen and I feel that was the cause what led them to then had an argument and we see that we have the four of cups here I feel that this represents that they were drinking and the moon here represents that it was a beautiful night and that was why they decided to go out and brought the conversation aside but after the argument happened i feel that kathleen she was walking away from him and this whole thing happened so from this i believe that she fell but the reason that caused her to fall was an attack whether it's an owl literal owl or so-called owl attack um, because this son of sorts is clearly shows that was going toward her as if she was the target okay now let's move on to this ace of swords and then underneath we see that there's a magician here so magician for me symbolizes resources power those kind of things but together with this, I feel that it was about the murder weapon. Let's say this is a homicide. If this is a homicide, then we have to find out what is the murder weapon. And the Ace of Swords usually represents the murder weapon, like something that is sharp. Or it could be anything like a metal that was used to kill her. But because underneath the Ace of Swords here, we have a Magician and let's just take a look at it closely. We see that the Magician has a sword, a pentacle, a cup, and a wand. But you see that his hand is on top of the pentacle. So in this case, he wasn't using any swords or anything like it as a murder weapon. But instead, what pentacles are usually representing? The earth, the building, the stair itself. For me, it speaks about if this is a murder, then he didn't use any murder weapon. Instead, he was using the stair to knock her out with his hands. All right now move on to the next car which is the empress here this is kathleen's energy and we see that there's um like pink dark pink colors surrounding this i think that this represents the blood all the blood that was around her body and around the crime scene and it makes me wonder if there was more blood elsewhere that could have potentially been cleaned up. I haven't dug too much information about this case. I just read like what happened and like the surface of it. So um, there are a lot of questions in my mind. If you're able to let me know more, please leave a comment down below and the questions I have are whether there were more blood around if the police was you know using any luminol or something like that to find out if there's blood somewhere else 
in the house that had been cleaned up, it would suggest something else. It would help the case better, I, I feel. And, and the blood underneath her feet is suggesting that she was standing on top of her own blood, which means that she was able to regain back her consciousness. And let's say if she fell down the stairs, and then she can regain back her consciousness and she tried to like walk away from that and she slipped i think that it will be shown like the blood will shown that there's like a dragging mark on it something like that i'm not sure i'm not the expert but these kind of things make me question more and more about what the expert had found from the crime scene and if this is a murder like I said that the killer just banged her head on the stair then will they be able to see if there's like some sort of wounds because then the killer would have had to pull her hair or hold the face and with this type of um, force leave any mark on the face or the head something like that and a lot more questions about these circumstances so let's just draw more cards to get more insight about what happened okay so from the second deck we have eight of chalices page of chalices King of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Two of Swords, Six of Swords, and the Hangman. We see here that we have more people's energy, and it's two females energy and one male's energy. So this male's energy feel that this is Michael's energy and then these two are about the adopted daughter's energy and the fact that they both appear in this reading suggests that there's more to the story than we know than they let us know you see here that the shadow cards are the emperor and four of pentacles so the emperor here for me suggests that there's someone in control of all this and the emperor here usually is the male's energy so in this case it would be michael's energy and four of pentacles suggests that there's something that was kept Together, it's like he was keeping something from the outside world. And we see that the four of pentacles here are connecting to one another. And it's like, and they are binded together. So this could be representing the four children, his four children that he was trying to protect them for some reasons. So this Eight of Chalices here, I feel that this is about Kathleen. She was walking away from whatever conversation or argument that they had. And we see here that the person is holding something. So I feel that she was walking away with a new information that her mind was not in the right place meaning that she was there were so many things going on in her mind this and seven of pentacles I feel that this is about the investigation digging out an old case that was related to this case which was about Elizabeth's death and I feel that it was the right move that they did but 
they couldn't find a strong evidence against Michael so they couldn't really prosecute him and because this is on top of the one of the daughter's energy I feel that this but I don't know which one is which but at least one of the daughter tried to see things differently after knowing what happened to her mother I think that she used this information to see things objectively um, but I noticed here that there's strawberries here and in the king of pentacles here you see that there are strawberries as well so what I feel is that either he had used something or had given something to both daughters to make them like um, stay with him or like to make them see highly of him like he was brainwashing them to an extent that they see him as their like king in a way that's how I feel from all of these cards and the two of wands here I feel that the two daughters are in his arms meaning he's able to make them see things the way he wants them to see and kind of for me it's kind of like they have forgotten about their past or they have moved on from that and it was not something that was hard for them to let go but I feel that he kind of used their past to kind of brainwash them because when we look at this it's looking at somewhere dark where you couldn't see things clearly I feel that in this case this is looking back instead of looking forward so I feel that he was having a conversation probably once in a while or could be quite often about their birth parents about how he came to save their lives and provide them a better life something like that here we see we have two of swords on top of ace of swords like i said if this is about a murder weapon it's not that kind of murder weapon but the fact that there's one and then two i feel that this could be about how there was the first time it happened or the murder weapon being used and there was the second time but as we see here that the person is blinded that means that it wasn't as what we see it wasn't as what we thought another thing that i picked up from this card is about how the two daughters were blinded or brainwashed so definitely something going on with them the next card is six of swords i feel that this is about kathleen she didn't see this coming because she was walking away from him and she didn't think that this would happen so it was like he stabbed her from the back but not literally and underneath this card we see that there's the hanged man and this is on top of the empress energy so this definitely showed that Catherine's body I feel that um, okay so I am wondering a lot about the crime scene this is about her bloody head like you know all the red things on top of this is representing where the wounds are and on top of this card we have a hangman without the head here so like this is the whole picture then so i feel that it could be more blood or more things around the house that the police missed somehow i also feel that 
he was trying to make people to put their attention specifically to the stairs and so we probably missed something else that was supposed to help this case let's try to take a look more into this card okay so there are a lot of fish here or it makes me feel that the position of the body is something that speaks for itself so and we all can speculate what happened but at the end of the day we don't really know what really happened okay so the oracle card here we have indigo and crystal children clear space and you are safe this indigo and crystal children i feel that this is about the children it is more about michael's children it could be that they were arguing about the children because the children's energy especially the adopted daughters are very strong in this reading it would be suggesting that they were arguing about them and then clear your space here I feel that this is about the truth that came out it was what led this to happen and that this is related to the children and the last oracle card is you are safe this is another card that gives me the fact that he was protecting someone or the children but I don't know from what or what about but that's what I feel that he was trying to protect the children from something and also this could be related to this Kathleen thought that she was safe and she didn't think that Michael would do such a thing to her and she just you know kept going and didn't see this coming so yeah that is all the reading for the death of Kathleen Pearson once again this is for entertainment purpose only so I don't mean to offend anybody I would like to hear your thoughts about this case and this reading so please share it in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next reading